Alright guys, in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to tie my spinnerbait fly. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the old school spinnerbait. This thing works extremely well. This is your flash. You, know, you got your skirt material here and this all goes crazy when it's going through the water. And uh, this is too heavy to throw on a fly rod, plus it has a barb on it. You know, we don't want to do all that. This is just, this honestly I think is just bulky and bulbous and it needs to go. Um, so we're going to use this, we're going to tie everything on a Mustad 2 watt hook, buy these for about 10 bucks, um, you get 100 of them, I tie a lot of flies on this hook, uh, it is not a very sharp hook, I will say that, I do sharpen them, um, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and show you what I have started, I speeded this video up a little bit by adding all the flash, um, what I do with all this flash is this is what I am replacing. I am replacing this piece of garbage. So I have three different colors of flash in here. I have black, I have plain white or crystal, and then I have gold over the top. And the reason I have all that is because I want to cover all the different white level or light levels in the uh, water. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie on some uni hair, which I use this to tie some red tail hawks. You can use this. This works pretty good because it's nice and stiff and it's going to keep everything from fouling. Or you can use this, which I think I'm going to use a little bit of both just to add some color. I don't know what this name is. My buddy Mark gave this to me. I haven't used it yet. So we're going to use it and try it out in this fly. And uh, I'll let you guys know how it works. But um, so far what I've done here is I have .035 lead. I have about seven wraps back here. Real nice and tight tied it off, super glued it, I tied on all my flash, super glued each one, so nothing's coming apart, this is super durable. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a small piece of this, right here, and we're going to go just a little longer in the flash, with it, and tie a piece off on two sides of it, and then I'm going to use the other stuff to tie off on the other two sides of it, so I cover the whole side of the hook. I'll just tie that like that. And I'm going to go just a hair longer than my flash, about a quarter inch. And I'll rotate this over and put this on this side. You notice I'm leaving this gap that is very important in this fly just so you know you want to go about a third of the way back and leave that gap and take this out of the vise just for a second make sure all this is even when I trim it even. That's what you're looking at right now. Come in here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take a good hunk of this. This looks like it's going to have a lot of movement in the water where this uni hair is pretty stiff in the water. It keeps a lot of stuff from fouling. What I'm doing right now is I'm trying to build up a body for this fly. This fly works extremely well for largemouth bass. And I fish it parallel to the bank, about nine feet out, just so everybody knows. Um, for the people who's actually fished this fly, that fished with me, they will vouch and tell you this thing works extremely well. The fish can't resist it. I'll tie that on my side. Now I'll go on your side. This looks, acts, everything just like a spinner bait, but it's on a fly. And I mean, granted, this is a big fly. I like to fish this on my eight weight. 
and cast it pretty decently. Go like that. There you go. I'll save this for the next one because I'm going to tie one after this video. Alright, so that's what I have so far. Now I'm going to take a piece of foam. It's just a thin piece of sticky back foam. I'm going to lay down some super glue right here. And I'm going to go about halfway back on the hook and tie this off. And this is why you left that gap at the front. I'm going to bring my thread to the front. Bring this down. Always pull on your foam. Make it thinner. Compresses it better. I super glued everything so this should all be nice and neat. When this is said and done. I'm going to try to build this as even as possible. And you want to stop about a hook gap or hook eye gap from the front. Leave yourself plenty of room to tie this fly off. That's why I use the sticky back foam. I don't have to capture it right away. Alright, so now I'm coming in. I'm going to capture everything. I'm going to wrap over everything. Now what I have done is this back here is going to want to sink and this up here is going to want to float. So this fly is constantly doing this in the water. Plus you're pulling it. So this fly never stops moving. It is awesome. Alright, so I have that. Now I got the spinner bait. It only has this little rubber band on it. Come in with your scissors. Get that out of my way. Come in with your scissors. Cut this. Take all your legs. Put them about in the middle. What you want to do is do two loose wraps. Now you can maneuver these legs all the way around the hook. Got two more down here are left out. Throw them right here. Alright. There you go. You're pretty much done. The only thing I like to do different, and this is just my own preference, I don't know if it helps or hurts to fly, it's just something I like to do. So I like to build that little base right there, and I have another piece of sticky back foam, and what I'll do is I'll come in and peel my sticky back off, and I'll tie this off right there. I think this just adds another dimension to the fly. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll do a wrap. Around it. One full wrap. Now I'll get my super glue out. I just got some super glue on my face, but hold on. Alright, so I'm gonna pull on this. Hold that down pretty well. And let that hold there for a second. This is not supposed to be a pretty fly. This is just a very functional largemouth pike fly. Alright, and that's all said and done. I normally come in here and cut it off with the super glue. Run my fingers down that. Now I'll pull this all up. Right here. I'll move my thread up to it. Do a couple wraps. I'll whip finish off everything <laughs> yep.
Yep. Yeah. Caught a bunch of bass. Huh? Caught a bunch of bass. Yeah. Lost a real nice snook. Do what? Lost a nice snook. All on this fly. Well, not this exact one, but this fly, nonetheless. There you go.